Bridge Farm. Today we are going to hatch some quail in our incubator. Well, not today, but over the last 17 or 18 days, we've had quail in the incubator and today they are hatching. Uh, we have 14 so far while I'm filming this. I'm hoping for many more and uh, it's snowing. Putting the egg turner in and then we'll put the eggs in. Ideally, we're gonna only do two per section where the where the chicken eggs would be. Yeah, it would really be one, one chicken egg, but we're doing two quail eggs there and we'll do three in these bigger sections. So I come in here about three times a day and look at these eggs. Because we've got so many in this egg turner that's designed for chicken eggs, like see right here, we have three. And this one, these two were bigger, so there's only two. Um, they, uh, they don't always turn like they should. So I come in and make sure that everybody has turned at least three times a day and that they're all um, horizontal in there so they aren't standing up on end or something. You add water in a little hole in the back and that's pretty much it at this point. For two weeks we just do that. <laughs> What's in there? No, uh, don't take the lid off. Uh. Okay, today's the day. Lockdown. Yeah. We gotta take the egg turner out, Teddy. How? Well, I'm not sure how much. Nope, no, 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 don't touch the eggs, please. How? I'm not super sure how much you can help, buddy. Okay. Well, that's not coming off. Pretty much what people said to expect with quail eggs. Can yeah. You, okay, Mommy, how about, oh, help. We need to put this top back on. Help. You can help. Hold on. Careful, mm. careful, careful. You can't just push it down. Okay, now we gotta put the water in. Oh, hey. Okay, it's not, okay, there we go. Okay, oh, hey. Okay, now we need the, we need the water. Oh, yeah, it's, <laughs> okay, so normally we add the water right here. Today we add water here. Hold on, Baby, Teddy, watch out. out. Now we gotta close this little thing too, to We gotta let the humidity come up. It has to come up to 75%, I think. 78%. Mm -hmm. And the temperature is still coming up from when we yeah, had it open. Yeah. I have to slowly add the water, Teddy, to, till it comes up to the right number. We kind of need that, buddy. Stop. Okay, we we don't have the cover for that, so we have to put this over it. Snake. Not, we're not making a snake. No way. see. A pine. <laughs> Is it 
That's number eight. Ow! Whoa, Ow! Buddy. Ow! They're all just standing on him. Mm -hmm. We're a little over 12 hours into our hatch time now. And we have almost eight, almost nine baby quail. Right? Mm-hmm. So this is a pack and play that we have set up as our brooder. It's not all the way set up yet. I'm still in the process, but it's a uh, cardboard lining it. And um, I've taped off the corners and the, the seams thoroughly so that the quail won't get between the layers of cardboard. <laughs> So I've got the feeder and water soaking in my sink. Um, this is just a good reminder to wash them after you use them with the last batch of birds. Rather than letting them sit in the garage dirty and having to do it when you need them. food. This is the, the crumbles, if you've never seen chicken crumbles before, but they are um, higher protein. It's about 28% protein. And um, even those crumbles are too big for the quail, so we're going grind it, to grind it up. Got my Vitamix set up here. I'm going to grind some quail food. done grinding their food they see the the difference I'm spilling it over the counter anyway you can see how I ground it up into something finer where originally it looked more like maybe big chunks these are too big for the quail and now we've got it more like a meal napkin shows how gross it was in there um, and then the, the new ones and I'm going to cover this all of the I'm going to cover all of the wood shavings for now because it helps them to find their food easier I sprinkle the food all over the wood shavings which I'll show you in just a minute until they get it a little bit bigger which they're already growing really fast um, you can tell the difference between the ones that hatched the first day and the ones that hatched um, on the third day. We haven't had any hatch since then. Let me see if I can show you. And that little bitty guy right there, even the yellow one now hatched on the last day. And there are, I'm not sure how easy to see the size difference it is, but there's one of the big ones. See that guy there? He's big. 
They like to get up in this big feeder and take a nap. Just to show how fast they grow, um, see these little little yellow guy was one of the last ones to hatch and he is all fluffy still. And this one is one of the first to hatch and you can see that he's always getting feathers on his wing or her wing. There's another tiny fluffy one or two over here. And this one that's laying down looking dead is fine, but he's got, uh, this one also has feathers coming in already on the wings. 